This is Rich Steves, web editor at TMC. I'm here in Austin, Texas for IT Expo 2012. Joining me now is Ed Preble, Director of Business Development at Basic Solutions, Inc. Ed, welcome to the show. Thank you, Rich. So, Ed, can you tell me a little bit about wholesale VoIP in relation to short duration traffic? Yes, uh, the wholesale voice over IP uh, industry, uh, especially as it relates to termination services, has to do with getting calls onto the public switch network. And a lot of these calls we're seeing are generated from auto dialers or robo dialers or um, computers that have a lot of telephone numbers in, in them that automatically generate these telephone calls. And this happens for political campaigns, it happens for surveying, it happens for nonprofit organizations that want to uh, generate revenue, it happens for governments and, and credit card collection companies. Uh, there's a lot of very legitimate reasons why a lot of people need to be called in a short period of time. Schools oftentimes need to be able to contact their students or their parents and let them know that the student didn't show up or let the students know that it's a snow day or, or, or for whatever reason. Uh, there's a lot of very, very legitimate reasons to, to, to have to send out an awful lot of calls in a very short period of time. Typically, these calls that are generated by computers also don't last very long. Uh, oftentimes, they're just a quick message to let somebody know a valuable or critical piece of information. In the case of political campaigns, it's a quick message to try to get somebody to, to uh, cast a vote for, for, for a campaign. Um, all of which are legal and legitimate. Now, the originator of the call does have to have a, 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 um, an agreement with the recipient of the of the call unless they meet certain qualifications by the FCC, uh, specifically political campaigns and nonprofit organizations. But what we're seeing is that there's a continual growth in this, in this space, uh, the short duration traffic. Now the problem though is that carriers don't particularly like this kind right, of traffic. Absolutely. And the reason for that is because when it's short duration and they're charging by the minute, they have to use an awful lot of system resources to accommodate all of these telephone calls. And in the end, the profit per call is, is, is minute compared to a conversational call. Unfortunately, this is an industry, it's a market segment that's not going to go away. It's a market segment that is in the process, frankly, of growing. We see record numbers of, of uh, of telephone calls made by the political campaigns when they have such incredible resources available to purchase this type of, of, uh, of marketing or, or promotion. Um, so the nature of short duration traffic is, is one where you have to select a vendor that likes that type of, of traffic or at least can accommodate that type of traffic. Typically the major carriers, they impose penalties uh, in order to restrict that type of traffic or they require that you blend your short duration with long duration traffic so that it doesn't damage their network so much. Uh, whereas Basic Solutions is a company that specializes in short duration traffic. So we'll take 100% short duration traffic. It's a trick to, to get that onto the public switch network, but um, uh, that is the nature of short duration traffic. So I'm curious, how did uh, your company discover this niche and, and, and how did it come to, to find that this was the place that they wanted to work? Well, we used to be in the, uh, in, in, uh, in the, in the hosted uh, PBX uh, arena. And one of our customers had a, a robo-dialer in, in their system and they turned it on and it, it, it took us to our knees. Uh, we, couldn't, we couldn't handle the kind of, that kind of traffic and so in the, we had to turn them off and we had to uh, turn them away. But we realized that, that there was an opportunity there because not only were we not able to take that kind of traffic, there were many other people in the industry that couldn't take that kind of traffic either. So what we ended up doing is, uh, in order to accommodate this one customer because it seemed like such a great opportunity for us, uh, we wrote our own software, uh, designed our own hardware to be able to handle high amounts of calls per second that ordinary switches couldn't be able to handle. 
And, uh, and then with that, that gave us the ability and footing to be able to get into the industry. And as time has gone on, we have found that for the most part, we're at the top of the food chain now. And um, uh, there's a lot of other companies that will handle and take short duration traffic. But what we find is um, most of them end up becoming our customers <laughs> eventually. So speaking of your customers, these uh, political campaigns or these school districts or these legitimate uh, short duration call companies, how do they find their way to your business? We have, uh, uh, we've got a lot of word of mouth. Uh, we do uh, the exhibiting here at, at IT Expo, uh, as well as the capacity events uh, all over the world. And then we also do uh, uh, have an agent and an in-house sales program. So uh, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of calling and a lot of canvassing and a lot of just getting the word out. Absolutely. Yeah. And it sounds like this is really, uh, as I mentioned, a niche. And it's, uh, it's one that is, uh, as you said, growing. These, these political calls, these calls from nonprofit organizations will only grow in the, in the future. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As, uh, as the political campaign's war chests uh, enlarge each, each season, as, uh, you know, as, as more and more people find efficiencies in communicating in an automated fashion rather than with a, an actual operator uh, you know, or human being to deliver a, a reason, an important but reasonably short message, uh, there's, there's every reason to believe that this is a, an industry, a technology, and a market segment that, that is headed for significant growth. And an underserved market segment in this regard because the other companies uh, probably don't want to bother with this type of traffic. Yeah, they find that uh, it's expensive to, to, um, to service. It is difficult to, to handle the level of volume, uh, you know, because when you're dealing with a billion calls, call attempts, uh, you know, in, in, a, in a very short period of time, uh, not a lot of equipment, not a lot of software out there that, that, can, that can easily handle that and provide real-time statistics uh, real-time interface and give you the ability to look into all of that because there's a lot of, just like international traffic, where it can clean your clock pretty quickly if you, if you do something wrong. Same thing is the case for the short duration. And that real-time monitoring and analytics same, seems like it would be extremely important in this case. Yes, there's a lot of companies that will be in this industry, but they don't have, they're not equipped to be able to provide the real-time analytics, the, uh, the, the real-time ability to look into uh, ASR or call duration or, or uh, uh, the key important things that you need to look at when you're dealing with that kind of volume in such a short period of time. So that's one of the things that does set us apart uh, from the industry as well as our pricing and our, and, our, uh, and our capacity. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to talk with us about a topic that probably a lot of people weren't aware of. Thank you, Rich. It's good to meet you. Take care.